Okay, so AI. Everyone thinks it's just grammar checkers. Ah, right? spell check on steroids. But we're going way deeper today. We've got this editorial. It's from the Journal of Dairy Research. And yeah, dairy Research? Yeah. A scientist is trying to figure out what AI even means. Like, what is it really? And he's using dairy farming to do it. Interesting combo. I mean, I guess it shows you just how broad AI is becoming. Right. It's not just about words. This guy's talking about problem solving, learning, even how AI, like, perceives things. It's true. We see that already. I mean, look at self-driving cars. Totally. They got to navigate, make split-second decisions, process tons of data. That's AI in action. And it's not just cars. AI is diagnosing diseases, playing the mm -hmm. stock market, even figuring out what ads to show us online. Oh, yeah, for sure. And yeah. this editorial, they actually mentioned another paper in the same journal, a whole review, about how AI is revolutionizing dairy farming, too. Which is kind of wild when you think about yeah. cows and algorithms. Yeah, right. But it makes sense. Dairy farms have tons of data. Cow health, milk production, all that. AI can handle it. For sure. So, okay, the author uses this funny example. It's about the Oxford comma. ChatGPT apparently loves that thing. Uh, yeah, even when it's wrong. It's like AI can follow rules perfectly, but does that mean it understands? Good point. Like, is perfect grammar the same as intelligence? That's what we're getting at. That's deep. It is. The author tells this story about his mom. She was a biology teacher, and she got into it with her headmaster. That happens. Well, a headmaster, he thought the only other difference between us and animals was memory. Like, we can just remember more stuff. Oversimplified much. Totally. But his mom knew better. She saw her students problem solve, be creative, connect ideas in new ways. That's intelligence. So are we thinking about AI wrong? Like, too focused on how human it seems, instead of what it could actually do. That's the question, isn't it? The author even mentions Temple Grandin, you know, the animal scientist? Oh yeah, I've heard of her. Her work showed intelligence takes all kinds of forms. We can't just judge it by our own human standards. So how does that apply to AI? Especially with, like, cows. They're not writing symphonies. Right, but they're complex. Cows have needs, behaviors, all this stuff we've always tried to figure out. And for a long time, it's been all on us, right? Farmers observing, using their experience. Exactly. But now, AI might change that. What if we could track each cow's health in real time? Predict illnesses before they happen? Wow. Even figure out the perfect diet for each cow so their healthy A&D produce more milk. That's like super-powered farming. Yeah, it is. And that's what we're diving into next. Can't wait. Yeah, it's personalized cow care, basically. Okay, but hold on. We're talking about farms here, right? Not some sci-fi movie. How would AI even work on a farm? It's all about data, really. Mm. Think sensors, wearable tech, like Fitbits for cows. Cowbits. Uh-huh, sure. They track everything. Activity, temperature, even how much they're eating. But we're turning cows into data centers. In a way, yeah. But the key is what we do with that data. That's where machine learning comes in. Okay, now there's another term, machine learning. It's okay. part of AI, right? But remind me what it actually does. So it's AI that learns on its own. Instead of us programming specific rules, we give it TONS of data, and it figures out the patterns. Like if we showed it a bunch of pictures of cows and said, this one's sick, this one's healthy. Exactly, but with way more detail than just pictures, heart rate, temperature, even how they move. If something's off, the AI picks up on it. And tells the farmer, hey, go check on Bessie. She's acting weird. Exactly. Early warning system, right? Mm. Could prevent a lot of problems. Wow. So that's for health. But what about making more milk? How does AI help with that? Same principle. Analyze tons of data. Yeah. Individual cows output, their genes, even the weather. So it's like, okay, Bessie needs more alfalfa, but Daisy over there, she needs extra protein. You got it. Personalized nutrition for maximum milk production. Like meal planning apps, but for cows. Exactly. Plus, you waste less feed, so it's good for the environment, too. Win-win. But what about the farmers? If AI is doing all this, what's left for them to do? Great question. The way I see it, AI is a helper, not a replacement. It handles the data crunching, the constant monitoring, all that. So like a super efficient farmhand who never sleeps. Exactly. That frees up farmers to do what they do best use their experience, their intuition, to make the big decisions about their farm. It's almost like AI brings back that personal touch, like before everything got so industrialized. I think you're right. AI could make dairy farming more personalized for everyone, cows and humans. Okay, so circling back to that editorial, the author 
he's not just excited about the tech, right? Mm. He's really thinking about what this means for the future of dairy farming. Oh, absolutely. He's wrestling with big questions, and he's not alone. Scientists, farmers, everyone's trying to figure out how to use AI responsibly. It reminds us that AI isn't just some abstract thing. It's changing the world, even on farms right now. Yeah. And it's only going to get more intense, right? Sure. Which makes me think about that big question we touched on before. What eyes intelligence, especially now, with AI doing more and more? Yeah, that's the core of it, isn't it? And not just for dairy farming. It's about what makes us human. If AI can learn, reason, even be creative, where's the line? Right. We've said AI is more than grammar. It's solving problems, perceiving stuff, adapting. Yeah. But what about, like, emotions? Can AI ever feel things yeah. have intuition like we do? That's the big mystery, I think. Right now, AI isn't there. No real emotions, no gut feelings like humans. But could it happen someday? It's possible, but who knows? That's getting into some serious sci-fi territory. Yeah, like what if we make AI so smart it's smarter than us? Kind of scary, but also exciting. It's both, for sure. But we got to remember, AI is a tool. It's how we use it that matters. Like any tool, it can be used for good or bad. So it's not just about the tech itself. It's about ethics, being responsible with it. Absolutely. The more AI is part of our lives, the more we got to think about the consequences, make sure it benefits everyone. We started this deep dive saying AI is more than spell check. And now we're talking about like the meaning of intelligence itself. It's pretty amazing. That's the beauty of these deep dives. We take something specific like this dairy farming article and it opens up all these bigger questions. So to everyone listening, next time you see AI, whether it's an app on your phone or some crazy new invention, Think about what IT tells you about intelligence. Where's the line between us and machines? And what kind of future do we want to build with this tech? It's up to all of us. Keep those brains working. Until next time on The Deep Dive.